San Diego remains on the brink, but did not drop back down to mandatory business closures. Fox 5 Jeff McAdam is in Chula Vista tonight with the impact this could potentially have. It's a nerve wracking day. Business owners all over San Diego County held their breath Wednesday morning, waiting for the latest from the county. And I'm sorry, I'm just emotional today. I'm so sorry. Snooky Rico owns Rico's on third, a salon shop in Chula Vista, an area hit hardest by COVID-19. The city of Chula Vista recently sent out a survey to small business owners asking if they could survive if closures lasted another six months. Nearly 600 responded with 60% of them saying no. I'm not going to give up. I don't want to give up. We want to keep our business. You know, we've, I've been doing this for 45 years. Thankfully, businesses will be able to stay open for now. The county releasing the latest coronavirus numbers Wednesday afternoon, saying the county has a case rate of 6.9, keeping us in the red zone. Moving forward, if that number climbs to 7, then we move to the purple zone, and the majority of indoor business operations would have to close once again. Uh, we could potentially move up. We could theoretically move down. But again, you have to have two consecutive weeks of data uh, in that higher or lower tier before you officially move, um, and the changes in and posture uh, take effect. And the iced coffee, do you want any cream in it? Ron Ritchie at Grindhouse Coffee wonders what the case rate will look like next week once the tests after Labor Day weekend come in. He hopes we won't see a spike. Well, that is a fear that, you know, people are, are getting comfortable and, and relaxing the mask usage. So. Yeah, and that is the question. Will we see a spike here in the coming week if people got coronavirus over the weekend, this three day weekend? It'll take a few days before the symptoms present. Then you got to get tested. It takes a couple of days before those tests get run. So we should know in the next week or so what we're looking at. From Chula Vista, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.